President William Ruto, I always say that I have tremendous respect for you because you are one of the people who mentored me in this political journey. You gave me an opportunity uh, to learn from the front row seat of your school of politics. But I want to tell you something, Mr. President. You can't continually disrespect the courts. You can't continually scheme to try and force the courts to rule in your favor. The unfortunate uh, barrage we saw the past few weeks where you were attacking the courts, where you were attacking judges, you were attacking magistrates, was just to push them to rule in your favor, especially on the matter of the housing levy. And even the matter of uh, social health insurance uh, authority is equally unconstitutional. While the Court of Appeal today has ruled against your appetite to deduct Kenyans the housing levy so that you can gift your friends business opportunities in the housing uh, sector, I'm told you've said you're not going to respect the ruling. We want to tell you today you know, Kenyans have given you an opportunity to continue uh, disrespecting them because by disrespecting the court's ruling, you're disrespecting Kenyans. You need to know that while Kenyans gave you an opportunity to serve, they no longer respect you. And they've demonstrated this through the regular heckling you faced across the country or the heckling against uh, members of your cabinet or members of parliament from your ruling party, or members uh, of uh, uh, the governors or senators that have been told of in your presence, that is a demonstration that people no longer respect you and the decisions you're making on their behalf. You know the housing levy, the housing process is unconstitutional. And we know this, I told you this, uh, sometime in April last year, but you refuse to listen. The courts have pronounced themselves. You still do not want to listen. You have gone ahead the past few weeks. You and the people in UDA organized yourselves and started attacking the judiciary. That is the message you are trying to put across to try and hoodwink, hoodwink Kenyans, push Kenyans to disrespect courts, push Kenyans to, to hate courts, and you are just doing it so that you get the ruling in your favor. Now they say, no, please just respect the law. Respect the law. You can give your friends other business opportunities elsewhere. Yeah? It is in, in, inappropriate. It is improper to forcefully try and rule this country the way you want. It will not work. I'm told some of us who criticize you, who try to make you become a better person by telling you not to do inappropriate things, uh, like disrespecting the law, are earmarked for, for discipline. I don't know whether you want to assassinate us. I don't know the kind of discipline you, you are talking about. Even a few members of parliament from my region are beating their chests, uh, their chest thumping and saying they'll deal with me. I wonder what a fellow member of parliament will do to me. In fact, your party has become extremely unpopular. I don't know whether uh, those ones who are uh, lying to you that uh, they'll deal with me, they'll ever get re-elected for supporting especially the finance bill that has, fi uh, has really um, made the cost of living go high. So we are telling you, just respect the law. Respect the law, Kenyans will respect you. You don't have to do things forcefully. You'll force us and we are going to also retaliate. And I want to warn the clerk of the National Assembly, this time round, please do not deduct the housing levy from my paycheck. You can deduct from other members of parliament, but not me. I have said no. And please refund me the fund that you've deducted for the past seven or so months. Thank you.